fun. I'm back. Like I said, I would be. Yesterday was crazy, huh? That was loud. That was so loud. I couldn't, I couldn't focus. I, I could focus, but I didn't want to focus in that noise. I just wanted to kind of take in the noise. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, I cut the, I cut the video short. Had to. So today I'm going to do a reading on socialism. Um, but before we start, yesterday we did the reading on, uh, my puppies in here, you can hear them, you can hear them. So yesterday we did the reading on, um, weather manipulation and whether or not the white hats were doing the weather manipulation. And we also checked in to see if the reason why they were doing the weather manipulation was to cover up these, these missions and things that they're about. And we got yes and yes. So today I want to check in and I want to, I want to do a reading on socialism. I have opinions around the socialist, around socialism. I don't agree with it. Um, <laughs> I'm very opinionated anyways, but, uh, yeah, I just don't think it works. And I think it puts too much power in our governments. And I think we need to move away from that. Right. So I don't agree with socialism, but I want to find out what the universe has to say about socialism as we know it and as we've seen it unfold in other countries so i want to ask that and i want to um i want to look into the b-i-d-e-n um clan the pretendency at the white house i just do i want to take a peek there and I also want to let you guys know, thank you for sending um, my puppy lots of love. So he wasn't terribly sick. What was going on with him was he was sick to his stomach yesterday morning. He just wasn't feeling good. He was laying around. We have gone through like a massive hot spell. It was so hot and so humid and just uncomfortable, right? So it was bothering my skin. I was getting heat rashes. Other people that I know were getting heat rashes because we were just constantly wet. You couldn't get dry. It was awful. Um, and it was bothering his ears and his appetite. So then all of a sudden we go from weeks of extreme heat and mostly um, the humidity. It was the humidity that was getting to us all because <laughs> The heat is one thing, the humidity adds a layer of just uncomfortableness to it, right? So he wasn't really eating much. He wasn't hungry. I mean, neither was I. So uh, then, it, then it cooled off and he ate and it really bothered his stomach because he ate like he normally would and it really bothered his belly. So that's, he was not feeling good yesterday. And then by dinner time, he ate like a champ and he held it all down and he's been playing and having a good time ever since. So thank you for sending um, love and prayers to the pooch. And always thank you for sending love and prayers for me and mine. I, I so appreciate that. You guys are so awesome. You really are. Um, so the other thing that I wanted to say was, got lots of, comments there was a few comments from texas you guys are experiencing extreme heat so you know prayers everybody pray for texas that they get some some relief some cool and um places in canada are experiencing extreme heat is what i heard from you folks yesterday so i hope that everybody gets a little bit of relief we went into we we had that extreme heat for a long time our weather has been, we had a really cold spring, very cold, damp, wet, just damp. Every day was damp and cold. And then we got thrust into heat with high dew points and high humidity. And now we've been, we've gone into, this is the third day of cooler weather. It's dry and much cooler, <laughs> much cooler. Uh, way cooler than summer temps should be way cooler than it should be for august just really cool it was um 48 degrees this morning and it's august 1st it's not that's not a normal that's not normal 
Um, so anyways, yeah, that's what's been going on with our weather. And for all of you guys that are experiencing too much cold or too much heat, you know, praying that all of you guys get some leveling out and um, some relief. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to start with is um, we want to do a check-in. So the healing intentions are always set, you guys. So if you want them, breathe them in for your highest and greatest good, your highest and greatest good, only and always. Decree that, you know, for my highest and greatest good, only and always. And that way your body will integrate the energy in a way that you benefit most from. And it won't send you for a loop and you won't feel funny. You know what I mean? Your body will integrate it as you can, can utilize it and benefit from it the most. All right. So, yeah, that's done. The healing intentions are done. So, let's check in. Uh, I just want a story. I just want a true story. Just give me the rundown on there's a lot going on with um, the pretendency, B.I.D. E.N. that is um, acting the part of our 46th leader. And so I'm asking the universe for the truth only, right? That's a decree that we always make. Only the truth is welcome here. But a true story around um, the 46th president. There's been a lot that's gone on. Um, things are going on right now. Things are hot. It's a hot summer. And I want to see... Um, energetically what is how do I want to word this I want to see okay give me a true story about uh, what we're going to see unfold with the news that's coming out and the things that are coming out around um, the 46 what is known to be who is known to be the 46th president of the United States? Just show me. Show me a little bit about that. A lot going on in, in that arena right now. So let's take a look and see what we get. Look, buddy. Come on in. All right, so the energy driving the reading on the uh, 46 guy that we, uh, what do you even call that? <laughs> what do you even call that, you guys? Like uh, the pretendency. But anyway, my guides know who, who I'm talking about. I've been, been discussing this, this whole situation with them for a long time now. So the energy that's driving the reading is the hermit. And so you guys know that I read according to what these cards mean to me. And so I'm not a traditional reader, right? That means every deck, it brings something different, right? The artwork is different. You, you get a different feeling, a different vibe, a different energy. Um, you feel something different from each deck, right? So this is my really cool Deviant Moon deck. I love it. Um, it made me incredibly sad that I had to draw on it. My son uh, got me this deck so long ago, but I had to dress them. So um, it is what it is, right? So the energy drive in this reading is the Hermit. Now I want you guys to really look at this because you're not as familiar with this deck as you are with my other decks. Uh, the hermit in this deck is going absolutely batshit crazy, right? They're alone. They're, they're stowed off alone and they're going crazy. So the energy driving the reading is absolute craziness. 
that's the energy around this B-I-D-E-N, okay? And that whole facade, the whole sham, the whole everything. It's like just really, really going nuts, okay? Crazy energy, crazy energy with this. And then above that, the lovers, right? So in this deck, to me, you know, the lovers, they're getting bitten. They've been caught up. They were arrogant. They didn't, they didn't take, pay attention to their surroundings. And now they're getting bitten. So that's what we're seeing happening with, with the pretendency, aren't we? So the arrogance that's coming forth in the news right now around all the deals that he made and the phone calls where he was used as like the bargaining tool and, uh, you know, the big guy and, and dad and all of this stuff and, and, his, and his claims that he's never had anything to do with any of that. But what we're seeing is that he's had things to do with these deals and that he's been denying. So all of that truth is coming out right now and he's getting bitten. So the energy around the B-I-D-E-N is craziness, uh, getting bitten. And then the Ace of Cups. So for me, the Ace of Cups in this deck, she's cold as ice. Cold as ice. Look at her. Her eyes almost look like she's in a trance. Just emotionally dead. The Ace of Cups, right? The, the Ice Queen. Ace of Cups. So the energy that's driving uh, the reading around the pretendency is a lot of craziness getting bitten because of the arrogance and not paying attention truly like they they really never did believe that they would ever get caught for anything any of these guys so there was a lot of arrogance and um not really paying attention to small details because they always thought they were just protected so not paying attention to small details led into just not paying attention to details because they felt they were protected so you know now that's all coming back to bite them and then just this complete coldness this, this complete, utter lack of caring. It's the energy that's surrounding this um, B-I-D-E-N situation, okay? Just like a complete lack of emotion to this. So I haven't been following the mainstream stuff. I just kind of pick out what's, what's going on and I don't pay attention because I don't like TV anyway. I just don't. Um... But that's the energy driving this, like a carelessness, a coldness, uh, getting bitten, and a crazy energy. These are not good energies to have all compiled onto one, right? So things aren't looking really good. <clears throat> things aren't looking all that good as far as the energy driving this. But listen, you guys. Listen. So as we're asking about uh, the B-I-D-E-N, What's representing this question is the world, okay? So give us a story, give us a true story. So we have the world and all of the elements of the world. So I believe there's a lot of deals world around the world that we're probably going to find out about if we're not already with this pretendency. So not just what we're hearing now. I think there's going to be much more. And um, above that, we have the three of wands, right? So this is nurturing the journey and having the journey nurture you. So in regards to what we're talking about right now, all around the world, his journey, he was nurturing certain things in that journey so that he could get nurture back, okay? Across from this, Across from this, we have temperance. What she's doing is she's changing things. She's changing things. You got to remember who we're asking about, okay? So she's creating a change. And above her, it's all about the money and the power being the one to hold the money. Changing things to hold the money, to hold the power. All right, so now just think about this. All around the world, the B-I-D-E-N was working to change things. 
nurturing different people, having different people nurture him. All about the money, holding the money and the power. So as we're seeing this crazy energy and this getting bitten and uh, this lack of regard, lack of feeling, that Ace of Cups, think about this. This is all going to come out, you guys. You're going to find out about the, the journey. We're all going to find out about the journey. We already have. We already have Glow Right, but not everybody does. So the news about that journey that he nurtured and that re he received a nurture from around the world, right? The news about how he did things, how he changed things, all for money and power, careless, no heart, no feeling, right? We're going to find out about that. We're going to, we're going to find out how his lack of feeling went into manipulating the world on his journey. We're going to find out how his lack of feeling went into changing things from money and power because you've got to be, you have to be a not great person. You have to be pretty cold to do the things that he's done. And that's all going to come out the, all around the world. Not just, you're going to find out he's made shady deals all over the world. Really fed that journey. Changed things deliberately for money and power. And it's all going to be exposed because the energy that's driving all of this being exposed is just like this chaotic, crazy energy. It's going to, it's pushing it up for him to be bitten and all of this to come out. So let's keep our eyes there, right? Let's keep our eyes there. I, I think we're, we're watching and witnessing the beginning of unfolding um, much more than we may even think they plan on releasing as far as this B-I-D-E-N family goes. So just a smidgen more about not just him and his family, but how about his cabinet? Um, can you give us just a little tiny bit more about that? Just a little bit more about this guy and um, the exposure that's coming out. Very crazy, chaotic energy. And also with this hermit, like this, this hermit is almost like, um, can you see really close? I'm going to get up close, close, close. Look at the eyes. Okay. One's normal. One's not. So like not just crazy energy, but almost like zombified energy. So it makes me wonder if, um, you may even find out some things around this person and people not being quite uh, human. We'll see, right? We'll see. All right, so now let's just take a peek, please, uh, to a story around the, um, you know, the pretendency, the vice pretendency. Um, the crooked politicians that back the pretendency. Can we just get a, a little story around them, please? Okay. All right. So, um, a little story around the people around this guy, right? The people around, I don't want to say this guy because in past readings we've seen there's up to five, up to five different characters playing this character. So it get, it's convoluted, right, you guys? But around this whole scenario, right, we have, they're representing the King of Swords, Okay, so they're representing the King of Swords, so the man in power, 
right? And then we have the Ten of Pentacles. So the Ten of Pentacles finishes things, but it also exposes the thief under the table. So <clears throat> as far as the people around him, they're going to be exposed. The people around him, right? The guy in power, who we're asking about, the people around him. They're also going to be exposed for their takes and their cutbacks and all of the little things that these people have been doing for a long time. So this it's all about to come to an end. And in coming to an end, their financial uh what do I want to call it? Their their financial gain, their money, their power. It's all about to come to an end. And this is visually. Remember, I'm asking visually. And the thieves under the table are about to be exposed, right? In the past, they've been strong, but they, they weren't looking. Again, not looking. You know how he's been bitten because of his arrogance? Well, now they are all too. If you look, they're getting tripped up as well. They were arrogant. They, they were arrogant. They thought they were strong. They weren't paying attention. And now they've been had. They got them. They got them good with this strength card. So many people in this arena are about to be exposed. Things are coming to an end. Could you just give me an idea? Like, is all of this stuff going to wrap up fairly quickly? So we're seeing that things are going to going to end for um, B I D E N and and the people around him. Is this all going to wrap up at this point? As far as you can see, um, if things continue down the way they're planned, as the energy stands today, it, will this wrap up fairly quickly? One more. Somebody asked where I was from. I did answer you, um, but just in case you didn't see it, I am in Maine. And um, yeah, I'm in Maine. So is it going to wrap up pretty quickly? And we got um, nine and we got it's fretful. I think they're going to tell us a little story. It's fretful. So, um, I believe what they're telling me right now is that it's already wrapped up because if you look, these swords are going sideways, which means they're not real. It's not real information, but there's a lot of stuff out there that's creating people to, to be fretful, worried, fretful, right? So fretting, when will it wrap up? When will it wrap up? It already has. This is the, the narratives that we're hearing are either not true or they're related. You know what I mean? So do you got, have more that you want? Oh, uh, yeah. So it's already crossed over. <laughs> it's already done. This is just playing out. Okay, you guys. So let's project and manifest the world that we want to see. And let's project and manifest that this plays out fast. Because it's already done. It's, it's already ended. It's just playing out. So let's just project that they're able to like... Um, Close it visually, because we know this is all a visualization, right? Um, close it up, end it all visually as soon as possible. Because that would be good. Let's just move on. I want to get to the to the phase in the journey where, this is just me personally, but I want to get to the phase in the journey where we're learning. Where we're learning um, not about how awful everybody has been and how crooked and not about you know, the atrocities, because we've been learning about that. People like you and I have been learning about that for a long time. Even if you've only been learning about it since 2020, or even if you've only just recently um, started learning about it, you are learning about it, right? <laughs> and you'll continue to learn about it. What I'm looking forward to is learning about our earth and 
all of the cool things, you know, the lost history. And I'm just really excited to learn all of that stuff. That stuff, I'm just really excited to learn all of that. I, I love diving down rabbit holes. So many of them, you can tell when you're here in truth, you know. And, um, but I know there's so much more to learn. And I just, uh, I love that. I love learning. And so I'm looking forward to learning that true history and things like that. That's, that's the phase of the journey that I'm really like, I'm really looking forward to. Um, aside of, because the most important phase of the journey for me personally, and I bet for all of you too, is knowing that um, human suffering has stopped and that our children are safe and that we have good solid plans in place to make sure that these, these people aren't allowed to grow um, a... I don't, it's not a system, but another, well, they're not allowed to expand themselves and um, take over power and, and hurt anybody ever again. I don't know how to word it because they're not a system, they're not a corporation, but they're a group of Satanists. So we want to make sure that the groups of Satanists never get to grow to that degree again, right? And so that's the most important part, that these sickos, you know, don't have that much power and control and they can't commit the atrocities that they've been committing throughout the ages. That's the most important part for me. And then, but the, like, when we get into the phase of, like, knowledge, I, I'm looking forward to learning the hidden knowledge, the, um, the truth about the earth and all of those things. I'm really looking forward to that. So, now that I've rambled on and rambled on, sorry you guys, it's 26 minutes in. I just want to know from the universe, um, I want to know, I want to hear from the universe. I want them to give us a true story, the truth around uh, socialism, the truth. Not what we've been told or what we think. Let's open our minds and see what the universe wants to tell us about socialism and whether or not it's a good thing, okay? So that's what we want to hear from you, um, the truth about socialism here on this planet, the way it's been done. Okay, so the truth about socialism. So the truth about socialism is like a, it's like a fresh groundbreaking thing in this journey, they say, right? So fresh because this is breaking new ground and then the page of pentacles, that's a fresh energy. And so then across from that, we have the six. So we have divine love, okay? And then temperance who alchemizes things, she changes things, right? So breaking new ground um, into divine love, changing something, okay? So the energy moving, driving this reading is um, fast moving energy, having a light shown on it, and the queen of cups manifesting this into being. So energy moving quickly, shining the light onto these things, and then the queen of cups who's creating the manifestation from the feelings that she gets around it, right? So this is this is what we're we're being depicted. The universe is depicting this um, for us right now as socialism. So now what I want to know is as you give these cards, which make it look like it's good, um, so are you telling us it truly is good or are you just depicting the image of what they've been pushing here on the earth, like trying to get people to believe that socialism is good? So I'm going to ask, you know, is, are you saying, um, cause I'm wondering if they're just showing me the picture of how it's being presented or if they're saying it's good. So I guess that's what I need to ask. So are you showing me a picture of how this is being presented to the people? 
here on the earth. How socialism is being presented to people here upon the earth. Are you showing me the picture of how it's being presented? So they're showing me the picture with the King of Swords as to how it's being presented. Yes, because the King of Swords, Swords is information, right? So when I say, are you showing me how this is being presented? That would be our yes. This is how it's being presented here on the earth to many people. So many people are seeing this as a new way of breaking new ground, uh, a fresh way of maneuvering our finances based on divine love, um, changing things into divine love, right? They want to move it in fast. The hermit, they're saying it's a high frequency, right? Because for me, the hermit is very high frequency. Um, shining that light on it and, you know, creating these feelings around it to make it seem as though the feelings, breaking the new ground, high vibrational, divine love, fresh, tangible, um, good change, right? So this is how it's being presented to us. So now I would like to know, now that we know how it's being presented, now what I want to know is I want to get a true story about how it really is. So is it really this good? Is it really not? Is it um, in between? Can you just give me a true story of um how socialism really is how um how the university socialism would work because like you have you have knowledge if we go down this road what it would look like for humanity so that's what i want to see if if we were to go down this road of socialism can you show me what that would look like for humanity please and thank you Okay, so how would this look for humanity if we were to, to go down this road, okay? The first thing that they're telling us is that we're not going to go down this road. This timeline has been walked away from. The t that, that whole timeline of us being put onto the road of socialism has been walked away from, and it's been walked away from passionately. Um, and that's victorious and that was done some time ago and that was people working together to create this victory okay so then um what it would have looked like is uh it would have had some people just totally destitute while corporations um the upper echelon whatever would the systems would gain, they would benefit. So it, it wouldn't have looked good for humanity, but we've walked away from this, okay? So anyways, yeah, we've walked away from this, but this would not have looked good for humanity. Um, if they had brought that in, it would have been all, uh, it wouldn't have been anything tangible, nothing that we could touch. So if socialism had come into being in the way that they wanted it to, it wouldn't be anything that we could touch. It would all be digitalized. So it would be an illusion. It would all be an illusion. It wouldn't have been touchable, touchable money. And if that's the case, that means that it really would have been able to be controlled by those upper echelons if it's, you know, if it was all just 
frequency and pretend money floating around the airwaves. And that's what it would have been. Um, and even if we'd have gone into this, it's not meant it would have ended. It would have ended. So I don't, you know, it could have lasted a while, but it would have eventually ended. And in the way that it came to pass would cause a lot of discomfort, more probably more discomfort than this old system that we're looking at coming coming down. And more than likely because of the because of the dire straits that it would put everybody in, it would cause that crazy discomfort when it came to end. So that's interesting. So it's been walked away from. It wouldn't have worked out well. Uh, it would have put people in dire straits. And the way that they would have implemented it would have been um, all digital currency. So, you know, nobody would be able to go mow a lawn for somebody and you give them just 20 bucks because everything would be digital. So everything would be monitored apparently. Right. So, um, yeah. So, all right. So now that we've gotten that story before I close out with 36 minutes in, before I close out, can you just give me another short reading around? I just want to clarify. I want a reading around. That says that we've walked away from it because it, and we should be celebrating because it would have put us in dire straits. We would have been under a digital currency and eventually that would have come to pass anyways uncomfortably. It wouldn't have lasted because we've seen it just never does. It just doesn't work. Um because it's kind of a nefarious plan behind it every time anyway, right? So can you just give us a story? Um, so what, what you're saying is that um, socialism is not a thing that's going to happen in this new, as we move into um, as we move out of the old ways and we create something new. You're saying that we we won't be implementing socialism. I mean, many people are worried about it. They're worried about that happening. So you saying that's not going to happen at all? Can you just tell me a true story around that, please? Yes, they're saying it's not going to happen. Yes, they're saying it's not going to happen at all. The Empress, that's our divine healer, that's our white hat. Wheel of Fortune. Okay, yeah, you guys, it's not going to happen at all. So, um, the energy drive in the reading is our alliance, the divine masculine, the divine masculine healer. Our lions, our white hats, the good guys, okay? So the good guys, which are driving this reading, um, are manifesting a, a different type of money system. <laughs> this is my queen. She manifests easily. So something very healing is going to be coming in as our money system. And they're saying right above that, that you're going to hear like a lot of misinformation around it. There's a lot of worries right now. There's a lot of misinformation, but don't pay any attention because this is all lies. So you're going to hear all that stuff right now. It's just part of the energy creating this for us to even ask, right? So um, are you telling, telling us we don't have to worry about it? It's ended. Yes, it's ended. Um Everything has been turned around. The devil's on the bottom and socialism really was created to empower the, the uh, people in power while keeping the regular folk kind of down on the bottom, right? So everything's been turned around. Um, and with this Ace of Cups, within the last year, Things have been really turned around. Okay? So within the last year. And then across from that, the Ace of Swords, you know, we have a much higher frequency coming in. There's an entire death and rebirth going on right now. Something completely new right here. Okay? So 
<laughs> new things, right? Different frequency, different feeling, new things, not the old. Something very healing, okay? The death and the rebirth of the old finances, the Wheel of Fortune bringing those old finances back around. We're starting something new, okay? Something very healing, something that's been manifested. We're hearing a lot of like stuff that's not real around it. So we don't have to worry about socialism at all. Would you like us, would you like to just give us a little tiny bit more? Um, so it's, you know, this has been going on. It's sort of like already a done deal within the year. It's been solidified. Um, brand new high frequency energy going through this death and this rebirth. Do you want to give us a little bit more around? Um, show us then if we're not going to have socialism. Can you just show us a little tiny bit about the new, how we're going to do things differently? Just give us a story there, how we're going to do things differently. So there's a high frequency that's coming in that's strong. High frequency coming in, it's strong, hyper-focused on that journey. Okay, so high frequency and high frequency again, the King of Swords. So this is a very high frequency, um, very healing, strong, healing, strong journey being manifested. It is breaking new ground. With this, you can cross any bridge, any river, or any stream. Um, but in regards to how this is playing out, and we're asking the question. This would say we've already crossed those rivers, those bridges, and those streams, right? Because we've broken that new ground. We've crossed. We've crossed everything that we've needed to cross to bring these new frequencies in. Yeah, it's a done deal. <laughs> it's a done deal. So the new system's all done. It's all done. And it's not socialism. It's something new. Um, it's new. And it's all done. It's a done deal. They've made the deals. They've done the work. It's high frequency. Whatever's going to happen in the future is not going to be a socialist a socialism uh, it's not going to be socialism it's not going to be that system so am I correct not socialism is there any is there anything about the new system that we would consider sketchy or not I mean is the new system going to be for the highest and greatest good of all is it going to be really a truly good system that works for the people and everyone. Everyone. Not just some people, but everyone. Let's just take a peek. Yeah, it's a good system. So it's not going to be socialism. It's going to be a strong system. It's going to be a good system. Um, and this, with this card, that's like infinity too, right? So really high frequency. And that's what it kept saying, higher frequency. So what we were tricked into thinking would be good. Some of us weren't tricked, but you know, that narrative that they've pushed and why so many people think they believe in it. Um, that's something that they may have made it look and presented it a certain way. That was the way they, in, they gave the information about socialism, but then we got that that's been walked away from. That's not going to happen. We should be celebrating because that would have put us in dire straits. Um, and eventually it would have failed. It said eventually that, that system would have failed anyways. And that's not surprising, right? We've seen it fail before. So eventually that system would have failed anyways. So then they showed us that we have this new higher frequency system coming in. And it says that it really is for the greatest good. It's for, it's for all people. It's not nefarious. It's strong. And it's, it's for all people's highest and greatest good. 
So I'm going to leave it there, you guys, and I hope that you enjoyed this reading, and I will be back as soon as I can. But, um, yeah, always sending you guys love and blessings, and, um, yeah, stay in that love vibration, you guys, and keep your courage, you know, stay strong, courageous, stay in that love vibration, keep manifesting the world that you want. Um We've got this. We, we've got this. What a time. Things are so interesting. Things are so interesting. Again, the healing intentions are always set for you folks. If you want them, breathe them in for your highest and greatest good only and always. And until next time, know that I'm sending you so much love and many, many blessings. Always. Okay? All right. So take care of yourselves. I'll see ya.